Hello guys, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2! Yes indeed, this is my beast. So what are we driving today? We're driving a... a, a, a I don't know who that is. Right, let's start. Now, which way? Which way is out? Let's have a quick look. Oh yes, I know where we're going. The game I said I'd never play because I thought there'd be nothing you could possibly do to make driving a truck around the roads of Europe fun. Well, it shows that I occasionally even I can be wrong. Um, you tr so basically, you take on... I, wouldn't, I he hesitate to call them missions, but you take on jobs to haul stuff. Um, you don't own your own... As a, you, you are hired as a driver, so the cab isn't mine. You get to buy your own later. When you have enough money, you can either take out a bank loan to pay for it, or you continue doing enough jobs until you earn enough money to do it. Time to put some lights on, I think. There we go. There we go. Actually, I'll press that one to see what lights I've got on. I'll put the beacons on and the auxiliaries on as well. Yeah. That looks better. Right. So we've got the sat nav down in the bottom right hand corner there. We've got the various mirrors. Don't know what that mirror is showing me. Oh, the bumper on that side. That's right. I, I did wonder what that was showing me. Right, we are going to let's see uh, F6. We are taking wood shavings to Dover. Huzzah! Off to Blighty. It'll be good to see Dover again. I haven't been through Dover for several months myself, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be nice. Getting dark, so we'll we'll arrive in bright. Uh, sorry, in Blighty, estimated 2:06 a.m. in the morning. Good lord, really? Are we going? I wonder if we'll go over by Eurostar or we'll be able to catch the ferry across. Bear in mind, guys, the speed on the uh, roadside. Speed warning things. That is in kilometres an hour, not miles an hour. We are in Europe, after all. Oh no, 50, I can manage 50. So, Paris to Dover. How difficult can it be? Oh, got a lorry coming up behind me as well. And a lorry ahead. Assuming we'll be going to Calais and picking up the train there. Let's try not to go above 50, guys, because otherwise we'll get slapped with a fine. Oh, 70, that's fine. Almost maximum speed. We can get to 90 on uh, full speed with a light load. I don't think we'll change because it's a particularly heavy load, which is good. Right, we can now go flat out, thank you very much. Nobody behind us. Speed of 110. So there we go, basically let's go flat out all the way now to Calais. And then we'll catch the boat. All the, I think we'll get, yeah, this is the boat we get. Uh, we'll get the boat over to Dover, no problem whatsoever. I just hope it's not as authentic over on the Dover side, because Dover is a nightmare of a port to get out of. And, yeah, so anyway, this game, the, the music you're listening to, that's an internet radio station. It's built into the game that you can actually listen to a variety of uh, interesting internet radios. Uh, I think this is Cali RTL, which is, which is okay, or is it Blue? Uh, it could be Blue. There's uh, there's a chat radio station called uh, France Blue. 
uh, which I like listening to. I still can't entirely follow what they're saying, but it's good for getting the news. What is this? Oh, this is a toll booth. That's fine. To drive up. Press enter. I'm going to pay a small toll fee. French toll roads are incredibly good qual qual like quality, though. I do enjoy driving on them. Uh, and particularly, not just in this game, but in, in real life, they are, they are incredibly good quality. I intend to be fairly quiet, and especially this time of night, it's going to be even quieter. Haha, -ha, time to go full beams. Let's get high beams on, yes, that's it. We can see where we're going now. Not really needed because of the uh, the motorway lights, but uh, I don't care. I really don't care. I'm just that kind of crazy lunatic that drives with high beams on all the time, if I can. So yes, we have uh, we have uh, French French inter oh the Rumbles rep French internet radio. Um, it's almost like being at home, it really is. Um, unfortunately, there's not an awful lot of France in this game, which is a bit of a shame, actually, because I'd love to drive to Poitiers, just sort of do it like Paris to Poitiers or something like that, just because I can say, I can see my house from here. Right, anyway, off we go. Right, what else can I tell you? Oh, yes, we, well, we, the mirrors, fairly good, actually. Uh, I have no legs. I have my hooker seat for so putting the uh, hooker in before I then brutally murder her for some in inexplicable reason. But I understand that's what uh, truck drivers do is they, they find hookers and then kill them. And it's a very comfy looking seat. And it's getting very dark out there now and the uh, motorway lights have gone. And there I, I found the rumble strip, that's fine. Uh, the sat nav, well, you've got my current speed, which is 89 kph. Uh, I mean the 12th gear. Uh, there's a little picture of a truck, which is all grey. If the tiny bit goes red, that means it's damaged. It's all grey. Rumble strip again. Uh, then we have a picture of a fuel pump and a fuel and a, a pictorial representation of how much fuel I've got. It doesn't look like a lot. God damn, but it is, uh, it is a fair bit. Uh, then it's uh, something about sleeping. I'm not entirely sure that there is. And the next one is getting mail. Then you've got the date and time. So it's Monday at uh, 2300. Oh, stop that. 2309 on Monday. And below that you've got the navigation bar and uh, the cash. Don't know why it tells me how much cash I've got. But there you go. It tells me how much cash I've got. Uh, F5 will scroll you through the various sizes on the sat nag. That's good. I can't see anybody in my rear view mirror. This is absolutely terrible. I, I don't know whether I can pull out or not. I can't see anybody. Anyway, below the uh, bottom, uh, just below the main portion there of the sat nav, we've got the ETA, which is 156. Uh, and then you have a series of uh, buttons which basically, which will slip you through the sat nav, through your current job, damage, no short, and any messages that you've got. I'm going to go on the outside because I want to try and overtake this truck up ahead. I think I'm going to. Oh, I think I've got. Is that somebody behind me? Or is that. Yes, that is somebody behind me. I'm going to go racing lines here to try and take this truck ahead of us. KP. Ow! 2% damage, nothing serious. That, of course, does get taken out of my wages. It's a bit of a bugger, really. Now, for 163 kilometres to go, 162. So you can see the, uh, the time and distance is a little bit shorter. There's, the, there's, a, there's one of the uh, TGVs. Nice little touches like that, I think, which are, which are really cool. And take both of these lorries. Au revoir, monsieur. Bonsoir. 
crash? What crash? I didn't crash into anybody. I didn't hit a single soul. Bonsoir, well, monsieur. Now, I could stop off in there for petrol if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I am the, a devil for that sort of thing. You can see how the trucks are pulled in and are having a sleep. I'm, I'm a, again, I'm one of these night owls. I'll drive at night, I don't mind. I'm some kind of hero. Yes, driving at night, it's uh, it's quiet at least. There's there a lot less traffic. How in the hell did I? I really don't remember hitting or even noticing hitting that lorry. Oh, let's slow down. We're at 96 kph to start with, which is uh, a lot faster than we're rated for. No legs! No, that lorry's got ahead of me again. I must get ahead of him. Ha ha! You know I'm coming through. Will not stand in the way of the maniac. In the... whatever that is. Not daff, is it? No, that's uh, an opal? I don't know. I don't recognise that symbol. Oh well. Right, yes. I understand the UK having some rather impressive uh, thunderstorms at the moment. We've had a couple of storms last week over, over here um, and it's been wet for a few days but by god the thunderstorms get rid of the humidity I mean, we were talking around about 80 degrees humidity and it's quite nasty so yes yeah, so the thunderstorms actually managed to solve a lot of problems there oh it's a car there's a car overtaking me. I could barely see him. Cars should have lights on the top of their roofs so I can see them from my cab. Things in those situations of as long as the truck driver keeps going still and steady. As long as the truck driver keeps steady, the car will just drive to avoid him. Alright, we've got 107 kilometres to go. ETA 146. That's 147, that's fine. That is fine. And we'll get up there nice and quickly now. Tunnel sous la manche. Yes, tunnel sous la manche for me, please. That scared me for a moment. I thought I was in the wrong, going the wrong way. Of course, it's uh, not the motorway up here, is it? Right. Let's uh, just take high beams off, shall we? Don't cause any crashes or kill anybody. Yep, looks like we're going over on the ferry. I think we're going over by boat. Oh no, we're going by Eurostar. Oh, awesome. I wonder if we actually get to do the journey. Or whether it'll just to be uh, just cut straight to delivery on the other end. 
Oh, that would be so awesome. I am such a sad, sad geek, aren't I? Really pathetic. Come on, edge it forwards. Enter. Oh well, we go straight across on the ch on the train. That's fine because um, can, no, don't get off the no, I won't get off at Dover. It'll have to be Cali to Foxton. Not in the Eurostar, it doesn't. I should be getting off at um, this should be in Asher International. Possible destinations. No, no, no. I want to get. So it should be this should be in Ashford International. You can't get off at Bugston. I'm hoping you can leave out the, this way. I'm guessing so, yes. Aha, there was that truck I passed earlier. And later on, when you've got your own truck, you can also hire other drivers to make deliveries for you, which is even better. So you can drive your own truck and you can run a small trucking company. It's awesome. You can end up with a trucking empire. Time for some high beam action. There we go. I can see where I'm going now. Now, remember, we've got to drive on the other side of the road here, so this would be interesting. It's interesting, actually, how quickly you get used to driving on a different side of the road. So when you come back to the UK, you suddenly, suddenly find yourself temporarily brain damaged. Or brain dead because you've got no idea what am I doing? I don't know. I can't remember. I had the slight advantage, I think, because I actually learned to drive in France. So that was making moving to France easy. However, I've got no idea how the hell you drive in England. As I'm about to de demonstrate, I feel. Dover. Yes. What the hell? I have no idea what I hit, but anyway, it can't be important. I don't know how I hit somebody or something. Anyway. So we didn't come across at Dover. That's interesting. I'm sure we should have come across at Ashford International Freight. Oh, never mind, I didn't, know, I didn't know that the freight came across at, at um, Bugston. That's a new one on me. Hello, Mr. Carr, which I didn't see before I pulled up. Over. Shit, I've done so much damage to my vehicle. 19 minutes, so we should be there soon. What's gone wrong? Why, am I, why can't I drive anymore? Is 
it starting to rain? It's starting to rain. Oh, fine, we get to use the uh, windscreen wipers. Well, of course it's going to rain. We're in Great Britain. It would be really cool, actually, if this was sort of... Uh, because, it's, I mean, we've got the internet radio. It would be really cool if it's actually got... To, oops! Connected to uh, weather. UK weather. So it's actually raining in Dover at the moment, or Folkestone. I don't know if it's raining. Oh, thundery storms. It could be very, uh, very apt. It could actually well be plugged into the... Um, into a weather system, weather app system. So you're actually getting realistic weather at this moment in time. So it's raining in Folkestone. Awesome. Oh, this is Dover. Uh, a not very pretty city. Almost made it to Dover. Ah, too fast. Right. Seriously, I cannot see anybody else on this road. There may be other people on this road, I can't see them. I'm terribly sorry if I can run into you. Unless you're directly in front of me and a big white truck, I'm not going to see you. Turn in there, that's where we're going. Yeah, skip the parking malarkey, I can't park these things. Job completed, I did reasonable, I did so much damage. I actually lost ha over half the money on the damage done to the vehicle, it was absolutely dreadful. I don't know what happened once I got to Dover, but thank you very much, guys. That is Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to be playing some more of this. In the meantime, catch you guys on the flip side.